Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's a joy to visit with you again. Today, my meditation uh, devotional is entitled simply, Do Good. That's because we're continuing to look at John Wesley's three simple rules. These three simple rules provide foundational principles for Christian living. The three rules are do no harm, do good, stay in love with God. When understood in practice, these 10 words can transform us and our world around us. When taken to heart daily, these rules will help us lead a more faithful journey as we seek to be faithful disciples of Jesus Christ. So today, let's take a look at the second rule, do good. I want to read to you a couple of verses from 1 John, the third chapter, verses 17 and 18, that share some important words with us. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and yet sees a brother or sister in need and refuses help? Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. Bishop Reuben Job, uh, in teaching on this second rule, tells of a church that has an unwritten rule that says, we will never ignore a member's basic need. This Baptist church in Clinton, Mississippi, will not let a member go without food, medical care, or shelter. Another church in Eugene, Oregon, has a similar rule. They claim that the rule has set them free in surprising ways. They now know that they can count on each other, that they'll never be high and dry. And it doesn't seem to matter whether this is a written or unwritten rule, but this seems to characterize what is meant, what it means to be the church in the most pragmatic way. It also sounds to me like these two churches are living out the message of 1 John, for they are using the resources that are available to them to help those in need. They are loving not just in word and speech, but in truth and action. I have a colleague in ministry, Carl, and he has a very simple setting, saying that he leads his life by. His saying says, see a need and fill it. Carl's simple saying is sound theology that is echoed throughout Jesus' teaching. We need to have the eyes of Jesus to see those in need and the heart of Jesus to be moved to action. Therefore, today, let me challenge us to embrace and embody this second rule, do good. Let us be like those churches who live by the rule that makes sure every member's basic needs are met. Sometimes these needs are physical, food, clothing, or shelter. Other times they're emotional, and our mere presence can become life-changing to those who are facing a crisis or simply lonely. We need to extend that same rule to those in our neighborhood, school, workplace, and community. Think about it for a moment. Who in your circle of family and friends is in need today? Whose life could you transform by taking action on their behalf? Who is God asking you to simply do good and meet a basic need? My prayer for you is this. May God grant us eyes to see a need and a heart to be moved to action. Amen. I have some announcements about Wesley Church and uh, some upcoming things. I'm really excited. Sunday night, July 18th, uh, Bible School is finally going to begin, um, and we're really, really excited. It's certainly not too late to register for Bible School. Uh, it runs from Sunday through Thursday from 6 to 8 each evening. You can register your children between the ages of 3 and 12 on our church website, www. Dot wesleyum.org. All children are welcome, and we want them to experience how Jesus pulls us through. Uh, we could use a few more donations of juice boxes, cookies, and Sunday toppings. Please drop them off at the church office or in the NPR kitchen um, to help us out in that simple way. And thank you for your support. We are collecting wish, wish list items from Mission Central and Joined Hands. 
A complete list of needed items is posted online, is posted next to the collection boxes in the NPR and in the bulletin. The last Sunday to accept, that we can accept donations is next Sunday, July 25th. And finally, an ongoing uh, need, uh, still looking for a few ministry partners to visit Schaffner Detention Center once a month. Uh, the folks that go there provide a Bible lesson and a discussion time for those youth. Please contact Amy Whitworth for more information or to let her know you'd like to be a part of her team. Well, my friends, thank you so much for visiting with me today. Let's close this time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, today we're being challenged to do good. Open our eyes, our ears, and our hearts to the needs of those around us. Show us how we can help and then move us to take action. Forgive us when we let fear stop us or rationalize why we shouldn't help. Give us the courage simply to act. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.